So with one of the biggest tournaments on the Asian swing coming up next week in Beijing, the defending champion Iga Swiatek has pulled out. Let's go have a listen to why she had to pull it out and also who else is not going to be playing one of the biggest events to end the season. This is what Swiatek had to say in a statement. Due to personal matters, I'm forced to withdraw from the China Open in Beijing. I'm very sorry as I had an amazing time playing and winning this tournament last year and was really looking forward to being back there. I know that the fans will experience great tennis there and I'm sorry I won't be part of it this time. So she's not the only player that's actually pulled out of this tournament. Tournament. Let's go to the withdrawal list. Starting with Azarenka, she's pulled out. Buzkova has also pulled out. Kastea also pulling out. Garcia is also not going to play. Same with Jabur. Both of them are actually not playing for the rest of the year. Nozkova, Plushkova, Zachary also not playing this tournament. Svetolina, Vondrusova, Wozniacki, Zhu, and Sviontek all not playing this event. So some massive names there that are not playing in this event. But the biggest one, obviously, being Igor Sviontek, the defending champion. There it is. Massive withdrawal list. But the big one being Sviontek pulling out for personal matters. Hopefully... It's nothing too serious, and hopefully she can be back soon, uh, as soon as you can. But that opens up the world number one ranking for, potentially, Sabalenka getting the world number one ranking by the end of the year. That was a massive tournament that Sviontek won last year. It's 1,000 points. That'll drop off. She won't be defending those. Sabalenka's playing next week, so she might be able to gain that 1,000 points. And then not to mention at the end of the year, the WTA Finals is something that Sviontek has to defend as well. So Sabalenka could be the world number one by the end of the year, which is interesting because... Last year, it was Sabalenka who was number one this time last year. Sviontek was trying to get it back. So it could be an interesting twist of fate going into that WTA Finals 12 months later with the world number one ranking on the line. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think we'll see Sviontek before the WTA Finals? Because we've got Wuhan coming up straight after Beijing. If it's a personal matter, she might not be back for a couple of weeks. We don't know how long these things take. You know, maybe she needs some time off. And she was already qualified for the WTA Finals, so it doesn't really matter if she doesn't play for the rest of the season. But... Igor Sviontek not playing in Beijing next week as the defending champion.